Hi, this is Barry with Barry's Workshop. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made some levelers out of hockey pucks and all thread. You can buy these already made, but they're a little bit pricey and I wanted to see if I can make them a little cheaper. I started off with some all thread or threaded rod. This is a 24 inch section and I just cut it into four equal pieces. I used my metal cutting bandsaw on this one. You could use a hacksaw or a reciprocating saw or you could use a cutoff wheel. There are a number of ways to cut it. When you're using the saw like I'm using it, the, the, the rod has a tendency to twist, so I've got a wrench and a couple nuts on with the wrench to keep it from twisting. And you'll see that in this last cut. And just so it doesn't spin back in, in the teeth. Next, I want to mark the center on the hockey pucks. And with the centers marked, I just drill a hole. It's a 7 16 hole, although it's going to be a half inch all thread, and that'll allow the threads to grab a hold of the inside of the hole. I'm only drilling about 3 quarters of an inch deep leaving about a quarter inch on the back side, so not going all the way through the hockey puck. Now I'm just measuring about five eighths of length to extend down in the hockey puck, and it's screwed in pretty well. There's just enough friction to hold it in place, and it's pretty straightforward. And now, at this point, you could use them. I don't see anything wrong with it. If you're worried about the friction not holding it well enough, you could come back. I'm going to show you a couple options. Um, one of them is to use an adhesive here. I've got some JB Weld. I'm just going to put it on the threads and a little bit on the inside of that fender washer. And they just screw right in there. And when that dries, it should hold it. And then, of course, you could use a welder and just tack the uh, washer and the nut onto that threaded rod. And that's not going anywhere. And this is just a tack. It's, there's really not a lot of force being applied. I actually found that the welding was just messy and really didn't help much. If I were going to do these again, I think I'd just do the JB weld. And just like with the friction fit, I'm taking the welded connections and screwing them in. Total cost is about $2.44 plus tax per leveler. That's quite a bit of a savings compared to anything of this strength. Well, I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.